So how do we diagnose a child with an autism spectrum disorder? First concerns are raised by parents and they often come to their primary pediatrician with a concern, for example, of delayed speech or the child is not uh, responding to their name or not having enough eye contact. If, for example, your pediatrician for some reason minimizes your concern and says, let's do the wait and see game and I will follow this, you know, this child does not have enough symptoms to, for me to have concern, a parent can also uh, reach out to early intervention and look for the and go to other resources in their community uh, to get more uh, screening done. And I think screening is an important thing because it's being done now at 18 months and 24 months. That is the recommendation by the American Academy. So that is something uh, that you know your child will get. But if you have concerns before that, absolutely um, reach out earlier and be persistent with your concern because there's diagnosis that can be done. Um, definitely by two years of age. Uh, we are able to also diagnose children earlier and a lot of the diagnos diagnosis not, is not only done by pediatricians but can be done by psychologists through the early intervention program and you can initiate that yourself. There are standardized tools that are used for uh, diagnosing autism per se and they can be parent questionnaires as well as observational um, and uh, evaluations and a lot of it is done by psychologists but uh, pediatricians, neurologists, psychiatrists can do the diagnosis based off the Diagnostic Statistical Manual, the DSM-5 and it can be a really a diagnosis based on behavioral criteria. You may have a child uh, getting more formalized testing done including a psychoeducational testing which also gives you a level of severity and that is one of the requirements now with the DSM-5 and it's important to get a team evaluation. Much that you may have one physician or one psychologist make the diagnosis, there are other areas that also need to be evaluated whether they have uh, sensory issues or fine motor delays or, or gross motor delays for example. So doing a multidisciplinary evaluation is important to make a comprehensive diagnosis.